Okay, are you ready to record? I'm gonna wipe your nose first, okay? We're gonna unbox some stuff. Mom's gonna hold the camera, and then Dad's gonna throw it on after I mow, okay? Sound good? What's up, guys? Ryan, look, say hello. Say hi. This is our first uh, daddy-daughter unboxing. You ready to unbox? So you guys uh, know if you watched the last couple videos, We've been chatting with 034, and uh, one of these boxes, there's a tuning cable and module, and in the other box, there is some uh, very controversial coil packs. So, I think these are the coil packs, and uh, let me get these in first. I'm going to install these here later tonight, and I need to double check um, that my current tune on my car is available on the server for me to flash back to in the future. I got some, some things here. Got about 100 of these stickers because I buy from them a lot. Oh, yeah. So, these are definitely cool packs. One, two, three, four. All right, ready? Get a zoom on in here for this one. Boom shakalaka. Dang. Come on in on that bad boy. Shoo! These are the only MQB coil packs out there that have a heat sink. Oh, and that's solid. That's not just like glued on. Get on in there. That is a nice looking unit. Rylan, what do you think? You think that's a nice looking unit or what? Yeah? Hey, you can touch it. And then go boop, boop, boop. You want to hold it? Here. Tell me what you think. Please don't throw it. Don't lick it. I know you're tempted. Yeah, here. Take it back. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, all four of these look the same, and uh, yeah, they're pretty dope. Thank you, 034. Uh, these are going to spice up the engine bay a little bit, and these should help keep the cool packs, the internals, a little bit cooler. I don't know if ours ever run hot. Honestly, um, mostly wanted these to spice up the engine bay, but also I really am a fan of heat sinks. I like billet things. If you guys, uh, you guys should know that I pick billet over carbon fiber any day of the week. And these are some nice little billet heat sinks to spice up the bay along with the red matches the calipers. Said why not? You know, in the next box we have our tuning cable. We need to get on there and uh there Hey brother, here we go. Oh dang! They're fancy with their island. Look! It's in a case. Now that's cool. Check that out. What do you think about that? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Touch it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow, you got it nice and wet for me, thanks. All right, guys, Dang. I remember seeing these in videos and uh, other people's posts. They got a really cool uh, Brady color cable, so we like that. Got the 034 colors. Open, wow. Of course, we got the unit itself, which is in some, isn't this like ESD type? Yeah, that's cool. Oh wow, and this is billet too. That's cool, feel that. That's billet. Touch it. You can't eat it, but you can touch it. Don't throw it. What do you think? It's a solid piece, okay? Yep. yep. No Oreos on here, okay? Or Cheerios. All right, well this is pretty simple. Plug into the car, plug into the computer, download, flash your software. It's pretty neat. I like the case. That's a, a nice extra touch to it. Well, that's all I got for now, guys. We're going to toss these cool packs in. At the very least, get the trans tuned on tonight. And um, as soon as I know that my racing line um, is still technically a beta file, that it's on the server and I can flash back to it, we're going to flash the 034 software. We're going to go with 93 first. And then come the weekend or so, we'll flash the full E85 file. See how we like that. Yeah? You want to go for a ride? You wanna go for a ride and see how it is? You just staring at mama, which makes it look like you're staring at the camera, so that's great. 
Any final thoughts, Ryland? Any final thoughts, sweetie? Nothing, huh? You're usually making all this noise. Oh, yeah, da. Da. Got any thoughts, Apex? Thank you, sir. All right. All right, guys, here we are. Take you guys through this process. We are all connected. Hood's got to be up. And, uh, well, we're only going to be able to do the TCU because um, my file from Racing Line that's on the car isn't up on the server yet. So we're just going to do TCU for now. And then once um, I know that I can flash back to my current tune, we'll flash the ECU. And that way we can tell exactly just what the ECU is doing. And then when we flash the, or TCU rather, and when we flash the ECU, we can feel that difference as well. That way we're not changing both ECU and TCU. And then we're, then we're not like, oh, was that, is that the ECU thing or a TCU thing? So this will be cool to see um, exactly what they're doing. And I, I'm sorry to you guys that can't flash your TCU. Let me fill this out real quick. All right, we just hit flash it. Stage two. Someone's getting it out there. This shit's fast. Hell yeah, brother. Hear the train doing funny things. Mission off. Okay. All right, guys, to check it out. Those are our ECU files available. Heck yeah. Can't wait to test those out. Hopefully it'll only be like tomorrow or the next day and we can toss it on. Guys, real quick, just initial thoughts. Been driving on the TCU tune for maybe 10 minutes now. And I'm already in love. D mode, show. Oh, each mode shows the gear all the time. In D, like regular just drive, I'm in auto mode, like my DCC mode. Um, D is much more usable. It's not like upshifting at like 2000 RPM and like lugging the engine. You can actually feel like you can drive it around the street without like putting too much stress on the, on the motor at lower RPM. And uh, that is great. And then I wanted to ask just for a moment, traffic is terrible right now and uh it doesn't like hold the revs too long which is one of the things i didn't like about s mode it's just it, it felt like it, it held it too long and indeed didn't hold it enough so these it feels like it picked the perfect ranges um yeah very happy only thing i did notice usually when you hit the little chicken nuggy here uh say you're in d and you hit it I guess no. I don't know. Hey, because it would take you, it just toggles between S and D. But like, say it right now I'm in D7 and I go to, and I hit it, it doesn't automatically downshift me in S mode. Like, it, and now I'm still in S, or I'm in S, but it keeps me in seventh gear, which is a weird thing to say, seventh gear. But normally when you hit it in S, it, you're always like down one gear from where you would normally be in D which is interesting. But now if I get on a little bit, it'll downshift, it downshifts weight like more sensitively uh, in S, which is nice. It's gonna be really good for autocross because I don't like shifting myself at autocross. But then it'll, it, it doesn't seem like it'll shift to seven on the highway. Maybe if I went up uh, to a higher speed, I usually chill around 75 though, so. Anyway, first 10 minute impression, 10 out of 10. Need to launch the car, but I'm 20 miles to E. Don't really want to launch the car with uh, with only a little bit of fuel in it. But see right here, I'm in S, and it just I really like it. Oh, wow, it flies through gears. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that is. some testing uh, definitely outside of traffic wow it's keeping the gears way longer that is crazy okay whoa and then wow so if you bring the RPM
RPMs up, say, and let off at like 6,000, it doesn't just upshift after a couple seconds. It's holding the RPMs way up there. It held them until I got back on the throttle, gave it part throttle, and then it downshifted, or upshifted rather, I mean. Which, that'll be really nice, especially in autocross when, say, I'm going around a sweeper and I need it to hold those RPMs, but I don't want it to upshift. So that's actually, that's really nice. It's, I think, maybe a little less great for the street, but really good for, like, legitimate motorsport, which is really what you should be using it for. So that's cool. That's really cool. Really, I need to play around more. Like I said, this is my, my first, now maybe 15 minutes worth of uh, having this tune. I really like it. Quick example, fourth gear, 30 mile an hour, on cruise control. We're gonna get on the gas a little bit. Well, I guess that's probably a good RPM and a bad example. But if I was at, I need to show you guys like seventh on the highway giving it gas. Regular D, it would not want to downshift. And now it's like way more open to downshifting so you're not like lugging the engine. So that's like, it's super nice. Yeah, definitely shifts like, I don't know, four or 500 RPM later, which is perfect. We're gonna test launch control, not actually launch it, but just like get up on launch control. I have 10 miles to E, but I wanna see what it sounds like. All right guys, real quick. Hopefully my coworkers don't think I'm insane. Okay. Well, that sounds about the same. I just got on it very lightly, so that's interesting. I'm very excited to further test this file out. This TCU is, seems very promising, so. Well, the gas prices went up, and that's with a discount. Whew. How dirty my car is. Can you guys tell? Oh, I'm sure. This pollen right now is awful. We fill up a little bit just to get by. We're going to the track Friday. Today's Wednesday. I don't want to put too much in. Yeah, that's probably good enough. 2377. Gee. Let's go. Alright, now we can romp on the car. Been having to baby it. My tanker's reading zero on the way here. Man, I just love that thing. Boys. The only ones I rep. On the outside of the car. Love it. Alright. Let's go beat on this thing. Decided to start making the switch over to Milwaukee. I got all my Cobalt stuff for sale. So they had like a Milwaukee web, web, <laughs> Milwaukee rep at our, uh, what's it called? Northern Tools yesterday. And if you spend X amount of money, you got an entry and I won. So I won this mug. I won one of like the pack out things. It like, just like a storage bin, but it has like the, like the bottom of this. You see that? It like locks in and like a lot of their stuff, like their boxy stuff, their storage stuff, all locks in together. It's a really neat system. Now I want like a shirt, some koozies, some other cups. I want a little power inverter. So like, it's like a USB-C, USB-A, and a regular three prong box that slides onto your battery so you can like charge all your other junk. It's pretty freaking neat. I actually got two of those. I won one and then I got one for purchasing. Like if you purchased a battery pack, you got one for free as well. So I got a whole bunch of Milwaukee stuff yesterday and I got to try and sell all my Cobalt stuff. Oh, I got to make a U-turn here so that I can finish buying all the rest of my Cobalt or the Milwaukee stuff. I still need to get the big impact and a light and a little Sawzall thing. But uh, I got like the little hand ratchet and a real nice, uh, quarter inch chuck gun that has like crazy amount of torque like that little gun has more torque than my main gun that I used um, from Cobalt so I don't even I don't really even need the fuel um, the brushless motor big impact like the 
the half inch, but I think we're gonna go for it anyway. All right, let's show you guys what's going on here. Looks like we got some open road. This is D, it's about half throttle. It's so smooth, it is so freaking smooth. Come on, red light, go away. It actually like downshifts decently. I really like that. Like compared to stock, this is like a freaking no-brainer. So we can go, oh, we're on green at a stop. So now we can go to S mode and show you guys that. It's maybe like 30% throttle. Now we'll step on it. Three, two, one. See how like I was telling you guys this morning, like the revs will stay. Now I'm gonna tap the gas. like it's so responsive now if I just go like a little bit of throttle it'll shift right away after I give it this is like 10% throttle then it'll downshift it's really neat try I'm trying to like learn the uh, the ways that it thinks so you guys are kind of learning with me I'm just kind of going off what I got this morning and then you still got the like so if I go to manual and then you just hold this paddle like it takes it right back to S mode. And then if you hold down this one, it'll take you to the lowest gear, which I don't wanna do right now, it's gonna slam me in the first. Get over here. I'm gonna try up the way here. Hopefully the exit isn't packed or the entry to the highway, but if it isn't, we'll get like a nice couple gear pull. That's it for this video. Initial impressions, uh, this TCU is the shiznit and I'm super excited to try the 93 and the E85 stage one files. Uh, hopefully we can flash that tonight. I'm just waiting on my uh, current ECU tune to make sure it's on the server so I can flash back to it. We can make that 10 second run, hopefully also this weekend. So we got a lot of swapping back between tunes and stuff, but uh, like I said, we're trying to go to the track right after work Friday. I don't know what videos you'll be seeing or on Monday and Thursday next week, but all types of stuff coming. And next week we should be ordering that dang intercooler, which with the way the temps are already in April, um, yeah, we're gonna need that this summer. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you guys think, what you wanna see, what you wanna know about the tunes, about anything. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the flip flop. Oh, and real quick shout out to all you guys that watch all the videos the like the comment all that stuff like i said in the last video uh this year has been pretty amazing to me and uh i wouldn't even say subscribers or followers or supporters just friends friends that are really there for me uplifting supporting trying to give that love back um in all the ways that i can you guys know who you are and what you do keep doing it i really appreciate you guys uh, well, if you made it this far, double thanks.